Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about the golden rule of solving inequalities. All right. So by the end of this video, hopefully you'll know the golden rule and when to look for it. All right. So let me um, kind of show you what the golden rule is about. But first, let me give you an example of, of an inequality problem where the golden rule is going to pop up. All right. So here we have negative um, 2n is greater than 4, right? So before we actually solve it and graph it, let's actually come up with solutions um, and non-solutions. So let's say, for example, if we have the number 0, right? Well, negative 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 is not greater than 4, right? So 0 is going to be a non-solution, all right? How about numbers like, say, the number 2? All right, if I plug in the number 2, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, right? And negative 4 is not greater than 4, so that's a non-solution. In fact, any number greater than 2 is not going to work either, right? So like 3 is not going to work, 10 is not going to work, uh, 12 is not going to work. Uh, if I plug in the number 100, right, uh, negative 2 times 100 is negative 200, and that's definitely not greater than 4, right? Well, let's come up with numbers that do work. Um, Say if I try negative 3, right, if I plug in negative 3 for n, well, negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, and 6 is greater than, than 4. So negative 3 definitely works. Uh, how about negative 4? Uh, negative 2 times negative 4 is 8, and 8 is greater, right, than 4. So negative 4 works. Uh, same thing, negative 5 will work, negative 6 will work. And anything less than negative 6 will also work, right? Uh, if I plug in, say, negative 100, well, negative 100 times negative 2 is 200, and 200 is absolutely greater than, than 4. All right? So let me erase what we did here. So now let's actually solve this. All right? So if I uh, divide both sides by negative 2, we're going to get an answer of n is going to be greater than 2. So according to our calculations, n is greater than 2. But here's the problem, guys. Over here, n is greater than 2. Well, these numbers are greater than 2, but they're non-solutions. Uh-oh. What's going on there, right? So the solutions that are, are going to be work for the inequality, right, have to be less than 2. They're on they're over here, right? So th here's the golden rule. What you have to do is you have to flip the sign. Okay, anytime you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip the sign or it's not going to work. So let's go back here. Let's erase this. Okay. And now let's flip the sign. So now instead of it being greater than, it's going to be less than 2. All right. So now when we graph it, we're going to have an open circle. And all the values to the left of 2 are going to work. Okay. And now you can see, well, here's negative 5, right? Well, negative 5 is a solution. Same thing with negative 6, which would be to the left, right, of negative 5. That's a solution. Uh, negative 3 is a solution, right? Look, there's negative 3, and so on. So the golden rule is, all right, when you multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative, all right, then you have to flip the sign. Otherwise, you leave it just the way it is. So if you turn the page, all right, here's kind of a nice summary of the golden rule. All right, it says, when solving for an unknown x, you must always flip the inequality sign when you divide by a negative. So here's the problem. We have negative 3x is less than or equal to 6. If you notice, I'm dividing both sides by negative 3. All right, and because I'm doing that, you have to flip the sign. So notice the sign went from greater than or equal to, to I'm sorry, from less than or equal to, to greater than or equal to. All right. So now that you know the golden rule, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now. And then when you're done, hit play. You can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems. Okay, so for this, you had to circle the inequality problems that you would have to flip the sign when solving. All right, so the first one, we have 3 times n is greater than 12, and to solve it, we divide both sides by a positive 3. So because we're dividing by a positive 3, we're not going to flip it. So that one is a no. Um, down here, we have negative 4 times n 
is greater than 16. So to solve this one, we're going to have to divide both sides by negative 4, which means we're going to have to flip the sign. So this is one you're going to need to absolutely flip. Okay. Um, this one up here, we have n plus 3. Um, so we're going to take away 3, so that we're going to leave that the way it is. This one here, we have to add 2 to both sides, so we're going to leave that the way it is. This one here, n plus 6, is less than 32. Uh, we're going to take away 6, leave that, the one, leave that the way it is. Ah, how about this one? Negative 8n is greater than 64. So to solve it, we're going to have to divide both sides by negative 8, which means we're going to have to flip the sign. Here we have 7 times n uh, is greater than 49. Because the coefficient is a positive, uh, we're going to leave it the way it is. But last but not least, this one here, negative 10n is greater than 100. Uh, well, the coefficient is a negative 10, so we're going to have to divide by negative 10, which means we're going to have to flip the sign, and there it is. All right? All right, hopefully do this video, you have a better understanding of when you flip the sign, um, and this will help you out a lot with future problems. All right, good luck.